So I decided I'm going to cut my introduction short because they tend to ramble on and not get to the point, and I'm bad at them. So I'm just going to get right to the point and tell you that right now I am in Rhode Island, and I am at a place that I've wanted to go to for so long, and I cannot believe I'm even here. I am at the Enchanted Forest, former Enchanted Forest theme park in Rhode Island, and this place is going to be so cool. It is a former amusement park, theme park, geared towards very little children, like, like toddlers to age 10. And it had a enchanted fairy tale theme, hence the name. And it closed down 2004, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. But it closed down and it has been left to rot here in the woods of Rhode Island. And I am here and I'm going to explore it. And I am so excited, so let's go. So cool. The Enchanted Forest. I actually can't believe I'm here. I thought this was a lot farther away from me than it really is. But it was not. It was a very easy drive to get here to the Enchanted Forest. Here's the other side of the sign. Enchanted Forest of Rhode Island. There's oddly this row of trees that runs right down the middle of the sign. So I have to video record it separately on one side and then on the other. And over there is the actual Enchanted Forest. So let's head into it and see if we can find anything enchanted. Aha! We've reached the first attraction. The old go-kart track. Awesome! So cool. I've seen all the videos of this place online. Usually I like to avoid watching them before I get to a place, but I watched all the ones about this. And I kept thinking that it was a pretty crappy go-kart track because it's just this. But then I realized that this place was meant for like five-year-olds. This wasn't an amusement park meant for teenagers and adults. So this is a child size go-kart track. Random shelf in the bushes. All the old tires still here. Take a little loop around the old go-kart track. The old rails. Back here, we have an old abandoned bench, probably where parents once sat to watch their children go around the go-kart track. No one's going around the go-kart track anymore. And the only thing watching are ghosts, ghosts of the past sitting on that bench. I'm go-kart racing. I'm also really, really lame. Okay, now I'm in the forest, and this truly looks like an enchanted forest. And I don't have any idea which way to go, because it is very overgrown. 
I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, there's what I want to see. I see it. Okay. Here's what you come to the enchanted forest to see. Remnant number one, the enchanted barn. That is so cool. It's smaller than I thought, but then again, this was for children. That's so awesome. Oh my God, look, it's a, it's a double bubble bucket, 50 bonus pieces. This gum was cool when I was a kid and now it's like chewing on rocks. Bubble gum flavored rocks, double bubble. This is so awesome. I'm in the barn at the Enchanted Forest. I did not think I would ever come here. We have a light switch. I must turn it off and on. Or not, or pull it out of the ceiling. Nobody saw that. This place is in ruins anyway. Okay, let's go check out that room. I keep hearing a door slam in the distance. I really hope it's not people coming here. We all know how much I love that. That's underpants. That is a pair of women's lace panties hanging from a vine on a tree in the enchanted forest. Are these enchanted panties? Enchanties? Oh, that's disgusting. Why am I why am I even near the enchanted panties? The enchanties. I'm gonna get away from those now. That's that's gross. Okay, let's leave the gross panties and go around to the other side of the enchanted barn. What is this? Anything interesting? No. Jesus can't shake this. Okay. just were. That's the light bulb switch that I did not break. Nobody saw that. Not much to see, but it's still totally awesome. I'm trapped in the enchanted barn. I don't know which way to go next. That way or that, let's go that way. It seems like there's more of a path over here. Yeah, I'm waiting to see somebody any minute. Oh, cool, yes. Attraction number two, the little old schoolhouse. This is what I was dying to see, the um, barn. I was excited to see the little schoolhouse. It's what I'm dying to see. I mean, how often are you walking through the forest and you come across a little old schoolhouse? Amazing, better than amazing, enchanting. Oh, that is just a thing of abandoned beauty.
awesome. We're inside the little red schoolhouse. I mean, you spend so much time seeing these places online and then you get here and it's all worth it. There's even an attic inside the little schoolhouse. So online, I saw the videos when this place was active and right there was the teacher's desk and it had photos of Abe Lincoln and George Washington on either side of the wall. And then there were school desks along that wall and that wall and the little kids could come in and play school. Like you could sit at the teacher's desk right here. Let's see if the, that's probably the teacher's desk right there. Maybe. And there's no evidence of the Abe Lincoln and George Washington pictures, but any desk fragments? Nope. Here's the little old schoolhouse 360. I keep looking at the screen and not the actual camera. I found this on the floor. It says Sizzler on it. It's got hinges. I don't know what it's doing in the little schoolhouse. I think it belongs over in the barn in front of the pig pen. Get it? Sizzler? Bacon? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, check it out. I can use my pointer that I got at the Greystone Lodge ruins and I can be the teacher. Yes, good morning class. Today's lesson, this is a penis. Very, very badly drawn graffiti penis. This person gets an F in art today. So I love this place. I truly, truly love this place. It's awesome. I had two exploring fails this week and this just made up for it. This place is so awesome. I might possibly have run out of all the things to see, but it doesn't even matter because they were epic. The house, the barn, the go-kart track. I think there's more to see, but those are the three main things you want to see when you come here. And I do highly recommend you get your enchanted ass over to the enchanted forest because it's just so enchanting. I'm going to use that joke like a thousand times today. So I'm going to continue to look around here to see what else there is to find because I'm sure there's a lot hiding under all of this overgrowth. So let's go see what we can find in the Enchanted Forest. You can see the pathways that are still like asphalt. It's not pathways created by people coming here after it was abandoned. It's the real pathways that were here when this place was running. Ooh, another bench. I don't know why, but abandoned benches covered in vines looks so cool at this place. Even the benches are enchanting. Love it. Hold on, I need to take a selfie on that bench. We got another bench. A lot of benches around here. I still think they're cool, but after the third one, it's getting a little less enchanting. <laughs> Still awesome, still awesome abandonment. Ah, we've got a bridge. Would it be overkill if I said this was an enchanted bridge? When you're at the enchanted forest, you gotta use the word enchanted every chance you can get. So let's walk over the enchanted bridge. Sweet. I love this place. I want to live here. I want to live in that little schoolhouse. I'm fixing it up. And I'm living there in the schoolhouse. Oh, here's the wishing well. 
seen pictures of this. I think it's like a wishing well trash can. Like maybe since it's a theme park with an enchanted theme, they made the waste receptacles look enchanted, thus making them into a wishing well. But I really wanted to see that, that's so cool. There's something back there too, but it might be just litter. Oh look, another bench. Then again, why wouldn't there be a lot of benches here? This is an amusement park for little children and their parents. So I'm thinking a lot of parents get really tired here or got really tired here and definitely needed to sit down a lot. Something tells me this was not part of the Enchanted Forest. It might have dead bodies in it. Nope. Not to this though. That had something to do with it. Part of a sign. That's a cool artifact. And over here is the top to the wishing well, buried under lots and lots of probably poison ivy or whatever. But yeah, that's the top of the wishing well. The peaked roof, you can see it, kind of. Nature has reclaimed it. Okay, I don't have any coins on me to toss into the wishing well, but I do have this green Super Bowl. I'm going to toss this green Super Bowl into the Enchanted Forest wishing well, and your job is to find it if you come here. If you watched this video and you plan on coming here, your mission is to find my green Super Bowl and then send me a message in the comments that you found it. So here we go. So yeah, if you come here, try to find the green Super Bowl. More of the old pathways. Let's see where they lead. There's something right there. Another concrete slab, I think. Something was on this. Like another house. It's got brackets there and there. I think this was another house. This is the foundation. But a foundation is not interesting. So let's go. There's a lighter. Maybe someone lit the house on fire. More foundations. proof. There was once a lot going on here. Oh, those are the tubs like the one I found next to the wishing well. They were used here just Buried in the ground, used for pipes. Okay. Should I go that way? Or towards yet another concrete slab? Oh, there's something big here. Don't know what this is. Had to have been something. More underwear. More women's panties. More enchanties. 
I say this a lot, but what is going on here? What is going on at the Enchanted Forest? Are people having enchanted sex? That's not right. There's the sign. Again. Let's go down here. Past this enchanted fence. Enchanted railing. Ah, okay, I know what this is. This, forgot about this. This is the mini golf course, yeah. Awesome. Look, you can see a little tiny bit of AstroTurf. And there's the brick border around one of the holes. Can we find the actual hole? That's what he said. That was gross. Okay, yeah, so I'm standing on one of the holes to the mini golf course, and we can follow it. See, look, AstroTurf. Roadblock. Okay. It's so awesome. Yeah, that's the beginning of the hole where the where you put the ball. And yeah, this is my third abandoned mini golf course I've explored. So word of advice, if you're gonna invest in a mini golf course, I'd say don't because they always just end up abandoned, like this one and the other two I've been to. So yeah, mini golf courses are, are not a lucrative investment. There's another hole on the mini golf course and there is the actual hole. Oh, look. An actual golf ball. I want to say it's from the mini golf course, but there is actually a real golf course in back of this place. But this would have been a pretty long shot from that golf course, but it's white. Mini golf balls are usually colored. But it might be. It's right near the mini golf course, but I'm in here, not for this red paint can. I see something back here. Oh, it's just like a pallet. Okay, boring. I thought it was like a window to an enchanted structure. Like, doesn't that look like a window? but it's just a pallet. This place would be awesome to come back to in the fall when all the leaves are gone and all the overgrowth is gone because then all the secrets of the enchanted forest would be exposed and you could see everything that's hidden in the summertime. But I really like coming here when it's when it looks like a forest because besides all the remnants of the theme park this is a really cool place to hang out like a really it's a really nice hike through the woods it's very pretty and it's got nice clear pathways some of it's overgrown but you, you can always find remnants of all the pathways that went throughout the park. So you're never really bushwhacking too much. Here are two more mini golf holes and you can still see the tee, the tee mat on this one where you would put the golf ball before you hit it. That's still there and then it would go hopefully down there, into the hole. And 
off into the abyss. Can't see the final destination on that one. Somebody lost a shoe down at the old mini golf course at the Enchanted Forest. Good thing I found another golf ball. Nice. I'll leave that right here for the next person that explores the Enchanted Forest Mini Golf Course. You know what this is? If you're old, you know what this is. This is about as old as the theme park I'm standing in right now. It is the cartridge to a pack of Polaroid film from an old Polaroid camera. That's the tab that you would remove once you inserted it into the Polaroid camera. And the photos would come out here and dispense out of the camera. But that's what this is. It's a Polaroid camera film cartridge here at the abandoned Enchanted Forest. That's funny. So, I think I've seen all there is to see and I've done all there is to do here at the amazing former Enchanted Forest theme park in Rhode Island. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite places I've ever explored in my entire exploring history. I loved it here. I love that I got it all to myself I love that there was no bugs today. Maybe because it's approaching mid-September, no bugs, no mosquitoes. But warning, if you come here, the enchanted forest is littered with enchanted thorn bushes. I got clothes lined by every thorn bush you could imagine, like whack, right across the chest. And my legs are completely cut up from thorns. But other than that, this place gets like every thumb up. I need like 20,000 more thumbs to give this place its its fair rating of 20,000 thumbs up. I loved it here. So if you live anywhere near Hope Valley, Rhode Island, one hour away, two, three, you got to get here. It's, it's really cool. And there's not even a ton to see. There's really just the, the barn, the schoolhouse, mini golf course, and the go-kart track. But it's just awesome to walk around this place and you see things like the um, like the benches and the lamp posts and just wooden pieces and remnants of signs. You just see tons of stuff. It's like a theme park scavenger hunt. Everywhere you walk you see reminders of the old theme park and it's really awesome. So if you like urban exploring, you gotta get here too. The enchanted forest and it's starting to rain but I don't even care it's it's enchanted rain I don't want to leave I don't want to go home I want to stay here I've seen everything there is to see but I want to stay here I might just stay I might just hang out maybe I will maybe I'll just stay here a couple more hours hang out on this abandoned bench one of the many abandoned benches provided here at the enchanted forest I might just sit here and reflect for a while on my awesome journey. Besides the cars in the distance, it's a very peaceful patch of woods. Okay, I'm rambling now, so I'll stop and I'll just reiterate one more time that this place is awesome and if you always wanted to come here, come here. If you've never heard of this place and this is the first time you're seeing it, come here and yeah. I'm going to go now, but I'm really not. I'm going to stay here on this bench 
and reflect. I'm gonna be zen with the Enchanted Forest. Goodbye. <laughs>